What if our user types in giraffe by accident? Uh-oh, we got a big problem. The only way they'd be able to delete this from the application is to delete the whole application and remove all data. So let's add some conditional deleting in order to fix this. We're going to go into the OW Outer Space Table View Controller.m file, and we're going to locate two methods. We're going to find the methods can edit row at index path, as well as commit editing style for row at index path. And what we're going to do is we're going to uncomment them. So what we need to do is we need to remove this and this. So now can edit row at index path is uncommented. And we also want to uncomment commit editing style. So we can remove both of those. And now we have access to both of these methods. Well, the first method we're going to want to update is can edit row at index path. This again is a delegate method of the UI table view delegate protocol. Remember that UI table view delegates manage the way we interact with our table view, specifically if we swipe and get that delete functionality for our table view that you've probably seen before if you've used an iPhone application. Remember that the data source manages all of the data that goes into our table view. So we're using UI table view delegate and this method is defined inside of that protocol for the UI table view delegate. Well, we notice that this method returns a bool and right now it's set to return yes. We also have a comment here, it says return no if you don't want the specified item to be editable. Well, we want a conditional editing in our second section and that should be the only section that we're able to edit. Our first section, we want to hard code and we don't want the user to be able to delete those cells. So let's go ahead and we can write in here if index path dot section is equal to one, uh, we can return yes. Which means that if we're in the second section, we are gonna be able to edit it. And then let's add an else statement below it, and we can write no, return no. Right, so if we're in the first section, right, do not allow editing. So we need to remove these last two lines here. And notice again that I didn't use curly braces here because my if statement is only one line of code, so I can just put it right next to my if. So if this is true, if the section is in fact my second section or its section is equal to one, we're gonna return yes. Otherwise, we're not gonna allow the user to edit it. Now we need to go ahead and we need to update our commit editing style method. And the place we're going to be updating is inside of the method if editing style is equal to UI table view cell editing style delete, right? The user tried to delete. So let's go here and we're going to add a few lines of code. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the object from the cell we deleted from our array. And what is the array we want to update? Well, it's our added space objects array. This is the array that's contained all the objects that we've added to it. And now we need to remove an object from it. So we're going to do self dot added space objects, remove object at index, and we'll say index path dot row. And what this is doing is it's saying remove the object at the index. Well, which index is it? Well, we want to remove it where the user in fact swiped. We're also going to go ahead and add a second line of code here and we're going to say NS mutable array and we'll say new saved space object data is equal to NS mutable array alloc in it. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating a new array to persist to our NS user defaults that does not include the space object that we just removed. Right, so we already have removed this object from um, our space objects array, but now we need to save an updated array to our NS user defaults. So that's where we're going to be storing these items in this uh, NS mutable array named new saved space object data. So let's use a for loop and we can say for OW space object space object in self dot added space view space objects let's add some curly braces here and notice that we're doing some fast enumeration here we're saying pull out all the ow space objects in the array self dot added space objects so with this space object 
we know that we have a method named sys object as property list and we know that we need to convert it to a property list so that we'll be able to save it to NS user defaults. So let's type new saved space object and let's add an object to our array and we're going to call another method inside of here what we call an embedded method and we can say self space object as property list and we can pass it accepts an argument of OW space object so we can pass in our space object so now our array contains a list of valid property lists and I can go ahead and say NS user defaults we can say standard user defaults and let's set object so let's use our array new save space object data and we can set it for key well let's use our define we set up earlier so we can say added space objects key and notice how handy this is we ensure that each time that we're using the same name for the key name and if I had for example used a capital letter instead of lowercase my it wouldn't have indexed correctly and my key would be incorrect and my application wouldn't work properly so using the define here actually makes sure that we're going to use the right name we also know that with NS user defaults we have to synchronize our data after uh, we set it up in order to properly persist it so we're going to say NS user defaults we're going to say standard user defaults to get an NS user default object and then we're going to say synchronize so great now that this is syncing up, we know that we'll be able to remove an object and then save the updated array to NS user defaults. So we have one final line of code here, and this was defaulted for us, and it says table view delete rows at index path. So it takes an argument of index path here, and notice that it's making it an array here using the literal syntax. And it's saying with row animation UI table view and row animation fade. So what this is doing is it's handling the animation when we delete a table view cell. So let's see what that looks like. Well, let's go ahead and run our application, and we'll just create a, a dummy um, space object here so that we can immediately delete it. So we can just call it like test one, and we give it a name nickname of test, and let's add this. And oh wow, it's really ugly. I didn't mean to add test one. How do I delete it? Well, I'm gonna swipe to the left and we see this delete functionality comes up and I can press the delete key and we notice that this goes away now let's prove that this persisted properly I can press the stop button and I go ahead and rerun my application and we'll see that test does not appear inside of my application so we've learned how to remove objects from NS user defaults as well as save them and read them